Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about what to do when AdMob restricts ad serving to your app. All right, so today I want to answer a question that came in last week from Afik Bahi who says, Sir, I got an email from Google AdMob. They say ad serving has been restricted to your app. Then Google sends me an email again that says action required to avoid immediate ad serving disruption. What should I do to fix that violation? Hope you reply to this issue of mine. Thank you. Now Afik, I probably answered this question in past videos but it comes up again and again. My advice to you would be don't panic, right? This is an email I get from time to time too, and I think a lot of developers do. I've been to, I've talked to like lots of Android and uh, iOS developers, and we all talk about the moment we get an email that says, ads have been stopped serving in your application, and we panic, especially the first time we get it. But the good news is, they did not use the S word with you. They did not say suspended. They haven't suspended your account. It means they don't suspect that you're doing anything wrong, but the placement of your ads or something about your ad is wrong and they want you to fix it before they'll turn them back on because you know, because people are paying for those ads. You don't want to have accidental clicks. Now, to be honest with you, I have three applications right now which I have to fix and they've been like for a few months that I haven't done it. But so, and for those of you guys who haven't got this email yet and you might get it in the future, don't panic. It, like, like I said, I get it all the time. Here's an example of the email here. This is one I got uh, just last month. Uh, here it is. Google ad mobs, ad serving has been restricted to your app uh, and it gives a bit of details about the application. It says view it in the policy center. And it used to include the details here in the email, I think, but now it's you have to go to the policy center to find out, which is much more convenient. And if I show you my policy center over here, and I, I can't show you my full ad mob, I can't show you my RPMs or anything like that, but these are like a few of my apps that, like, like I said, it's been a it's been like three or four months. I really need to get in there and fix them, but they're like low value applications. They weren't making a lot anyway, and I really need to get in there and do that. Right, and they'll tell you right up here what, what the issue is. Uh, restricted ad serving, uh, ad content overlap, ad con ads and content overlap, and then layout encourages accidental clicks, which is unexpected launch interstitial. So the first one, ads and content overlap, now I know I've tested this on iOS, I've tested it on Android, I've tested it on the phone, I've tested it on the tablet, but there's probably some screen size which the smart banner is probably covering a button in some way or somewhere. So I need to go through and do a little bit more testing on that side, which I'm going to go ahead and do. This other one over here, layout encourages accidental clicks, unexpected launch interstitials. I've had this early on with one of my biggest apps and I completely freaked out about it. But basically what this is saying is that the interstitials are taking too long to load. So they're popping up like after the app loads already. So you, what you should have is interstitials if you're going to be covering up the entire form. It should be at a place where there's a transition between one page and another and it shouldn't pop up, especially if you have people tapping on stuff. So they've restricted it on that and I just need to, I need to get around and do it. And this is one of the reasons why you need to make sure that your apps are always deployable, deploy ready. You always have to be, have them ready to deploy and every time you release another version, you should be able to go back in your source code control and be able to re-release it. Because just you, because you released it the one time, doesn't mean you're not gonna have to release it again. And especially if you're hiring other developers, you have to make sure it's deploy ready all the time. And the reason I haven't fixed these ones that I have now is because they weren't deploy ready. I was messing around with the code and I didn't check it into Git and like, you know, most of the time I'm able to fix it like that, like in the same afternoon. And then if you, once you make the, the change here, you just click down over here and you say request review, they'll go through and do it. And usually they'll do it the same day or they'll take like two to three days. Now, if you haven't looked at the uh, policy violation center, this is also something to look at. They'll tell you all the different types of policy violations and it, it makes a lot of sense to go through here and check through the ad mob and AdSense policies to make sure that you're that you're sh you're not that you're following the rules. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You don't want to get you definitely don't want to get suspended because you've been doing something wrong. But you also don't want to get ads stop serving. So you have to release another version, get them to review it, all that kind of stuff, which is a bit of a pain to do. So Afik, don't worry about it. I get this. I get this from time to time. I'm sure a lot of people who watch this channel get this email from time to time. We freak out. In fact, I've been getting it lately for apps that 
I've unpublished like years ago and then I'll get a, an ad mob serve, has stopped serving and I'm like, and I freak out. Like, which, which app is it? Which app is it? And then it's like one that I've unpublished ages ago, which I, don't, I think they're just cleaning up their records and stuff like that. So don't worry about it. We all get that. The, the key is to just go through and fix it. They'll and, and request a review. They'll usually do it in like a day. So everything, everything there is fine. So hopefully that's helpful for the rest of you guys. Um, if you, how many times have you had this kind of email? Because it, is it just me that I have it? It seems like once every few months I'll get something like this through and I have to go through and fix things. Right, but actually for my biggest apps, the ones I've already fixed in the past, those have actually been pretty stable for a while, but some of the ones that are less known, it takes a while for them to actually to get through to me. But um, anyway, that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again next time.